you will not be able to strike balance. That is very important. Number four, don't neglect the indication of your mind about situation and people. There are times in which you will observe something around you about people that you are working with or about your, your family, about your friends and stuff like that. Don't neglect it. God must have been giving you a signal that will help you to make decisions in days to come. Number five, don't neglect the silences of voices that matter in your life. Many times, you know, when your wife has been telling you about something and you are not yielding, what will happen is that she will just keep quiet. And the truth is that once she keeps quiet, you will think that all is well. But the truth is that it's not all, all is not well. You have already built a hole in your system that will continue to aggravate, that will continue to get enlarged, and you will be able to, you know, to manage it in days to come. So don't neglect the silences of voices that matter. Many people, they have lost great relationships in their life because they did not recognize when that voices was kept quiet in their life. And lastly today, don't neglect the areas of your weaknesses. There are times in which you find out that you have weaknesses. As I've said, once you take your time to grade yourself, what you have, maybe you have scored three in one area of your life, you are scoring eight in another area. Now that tells you that it is time for you to give attention to that aspect of your life that you grade to be three so that it can meet up. You know, a life that is that is called five, 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 five on the average is better than the life that has eight in one, have three in another one, have six in one, have zero in another one. That kind of life can never be balanced. It's better you score three all round than with that you can have a speed in life. Or you score five than to now score nine in one and score two in another one. I hope what I've shared today has blessed you. The first point we have that we have established today is that recognize every phase of your life. And how will you do that? Don't practice neglect. I hope you are blessed today. Let's have a word of prayer together. I pray for my listener. I pray for you. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest upon this one. Let it become life unto you. That every area of your life where you have been practicing neglect, we stop it today by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Next time when we meet, we're going to be looking at another point which I believe is going to help you to be a balanced man. Till then, go and win with Jesus. We believe you have been blessed by that explosive truth of God's word. Your minister has been Shola Babalola, pastor of Kingdom Pathway Church. For prayer or further inquiry, visit our website at www.kingdompathwaychurch.org. You can also contact us by phone at 847-868-2357 or email us at info at kingdompathwaychurch.org. Until the next edition of Kingdom Word and Wealth, go and win with Jesus.